Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today we have some exciting news about the 2022 Ram truck lineup. I have 1500 news, I have three quarter ton and one ton news, plus we have a pretty good award that they just won for initial quality we're going to talk about in this video. So if you're shopping for a 2022 Ram truck, this is the video you want to see because I'm going to tell you what's new, tell you if it really matters, and then we'll go ahead and talk about some quality, yeah, quality awards they won, which is kind of shocking for Ram brand because it's not really known for quality. But let's go ahead and get to the screen. Let's talk about the half ton first. Okay, so the big news for the Ram lineup and it impacts the half ton and three quarter one ton is all Ram trucks plus the vans as well will come with new fifth generation Uconnect system. Now this is the infotainment system. We'll see this on the screen. You can see it's, it's the software that manages the infotainment system. You get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You have wireless charging and dual phone application where you make connecting and sharing easy. Ram pickup and commercial owners. You see the big screen where you have the big camera as well. There's new off-road pages, performance pages for uh, better as far as showing off what you're doing. It's enhanced for greater processing speeds. There's Alexa home to truck and truck to home functionality it includes in-vehicle Alexa virtual assistant with natural voice capability. There's new tele telematics for fleet customers to be able to um, access the information on the vans. The icons are all new. It's all been changed up. It looks a little bit different than the Uconnect 4. There's over the air updates, uh, 360 degree visual quality to keep an eye on payload. So there's large high resolution screens and cameras. So you can use those cameras to see what's going on in the bed of the truck as well. But yeah, you can. it's really fast to go through. The icons have changed and it's just a faster infotainment system that's more streamlined. It's already one of the best in the industry, but this change here keeps adding to that so and then there's heads up display i'm seeing there as well but so that's what it looks like in the vans so there's your van setup and then there's some different looks as far as performance pages that that's the trx you can see different performance pages so the other big news going on with the ram 1500 and let's go to that is going to be some special editions Okay, so on these special editions, uh, this is what the truck looks like right now. So this is a blacked out version of the Ram 1500. This is the Rebel. And so you can kind of see see that front grill, that kind of stuff. They're going to say they have a new 1500 limited 10th edition, anniversary edition that joins the lineup. Exclusive blue shade exterior color on that. Multifunction tailgate, cold air intake, cold air uh, and exhaust, unique badging and 22 inch polished wheels on these, on that anniversary edition. It also includes unique indigo and sea salt quilted leather seats, instrument panel, console, door inserts, suede headliner, visuals, a 10 pillar, a bunch of badges. There's also the new Ram 1500 Longhorn South Fork, South Fork model replaces limited Laramie, limited Longhorn 10th anniversary. Jeez, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going there. But what I wanted to show you is, get through this right there. This is the, one of the bigger news is the new Ram 1500 GT Laramie and Ram 1500 GT Rebel crew cabs which is what I believe this is. These are all GT versions. So these get the uh, Sport Performance hood, which we can see right there. They get the GT badging decals, cold air intake, cold and exhaust, bucket seats, uh, enhanced wheel grips on the flat bottom steering wheel, high bolsters, aluminum paddle shifters, performance oriented, floor shifter, performance screens, all weather floor mats and metal pedal kit. Uh, the other interesting thing is the Ram uh, airflow you see there. The Ram clean air system is standard on all 2022 Ram 1500 models and filters 95% of air particulates. So they have the best air inside the cabin. This is another version. You can see the GT badging along the back of this Ram truck. So it's the split tailgate, 60-40 tailgate. This is Laramie, GT badging in the back. It's just kind of a cool look. The other new one, now this is the new one. This is the new Ram 1500 Backcountry. This is available on the Ram 1500 Bighorn and Lone Star models. You get the 5.7 liter V8, body color grill. So you can see that grill that matches. You have the grill surround, black two-tone exterior paint, black badging, exhaust, headlamps. Everything's bad out, blacked out. Running boards, everything's black. Mirrors, tunnel cover. You get the bed utility group. You get an off-road group, which is the electronic locking rear axle. You get the skid plates in the front, heavy-duty shock absorber, steering gears, transfer case, hill descent control, off-road pages, the tow hooks, and all-terrain off and on-road tires. Now, they, they don't have a picture of it, but they do talk about it in the press release. They have a new uh, trailer hitch light. This included in the trailer tow group includes four LED lights to provide a clear, crisp light from directly above the trailer hitch. So they added lights. So above the trailer hitch, you, when you hit the... When you back up the lights, light that up. Uh, the clean air addition system we talked about. And Harvest Sunrise 
is available on Tradesmen, Bighorn, Rebel, Laramie, and Longhorn. This was an exclusive color, I think, uh, last year with Heavy Duties, and now DeMalt and that joins the lineup. So those are your updates for the Ram 1500. Now the engines are all the same, nothing's changed there, transmission hasn't changed at all. Okay, now for the three quarter ton and one ton, the heavy duty trucks, uh, these haven't really changed a whole lot. They still offer the best in class towing capacity of 37,000 pounds, payload of 7,680 pounds, 1,000 foot pounds of torque with the specific um, setup of the truck. You have to buy, there's one setup that does that. Uh, class leading ride and handling, all this kind of stuff. The exclusive link coil rear suspension. Like I talked about this, all these trucks all get the five link, uh, not five link, <laughs> think five link because of RAM. Uh, the Uconnect 5 system, it's again, it's three times faster, more mem or four times faster, three times more memory, Wi-Fi capability, tow specific navigation, just a lot of good stuff in there. And then they have the heavy duty Bighorn and Lone Star Silver Edition. It features chrome and tow hooks, belt molding, belt molding, uh, door handle inserts, just a bunch of styles. And then when you look at the Power Wagon, you can now get the Power Wagon, a level three equipment package includes the black grill mesh. You have the gunmetal ram spelled out in the badge. You have the premium headlights with gloss black surrounds. You have the 12 inch Uconnect 5 system, the 17 speaker Harman Kardon system, the premium interior, and you can get the bucket seats and things. And so there also, also comes in electronic lack, uh, in level two, which offers electric it also is offered with an electronic can transfer case on level two and standard on level three equipment packages. You can get upgraded seats, upgraded things in the truck. Now the tow mode is now available with a digital rear view mirror. If you've never seen that before, you uh, flip the handle, flip a, a switch on the rear view mirror and it changes to a, it shows like a backup camera is the whole time while you're driving. It's like a little bit of video game. It's pretty cool though when you're backing up, if you're gonna back up uh, with uh, people behind you or whatever, you can get that digital view mirror and it allows the driver to see behind the trailer if you have a remote camera. So you can actually see it all there in the screen. Uh, there's the, titch, the trailer hitch light was added from the half ton, now it's on three quarter ton as well. And Harbor Sunrise joins the lineup as a, as a complete option. And there's available 360 degree view camera as far as seeing the bird's eye view. So um, those are basically your upgrades. Uh, again, you have some changes with the Ram Power Wagon that it now offers level three equipment package and that includes some more up level features and then you have level two that offers electronic transfer case and a standard on level three equipment packages. So it's optional there. And yeah. So that's what's new on the Ram 1500 and three quarter one ton lineup. Now the other thing we're gonna talk about here is the JD Power initial quality study and, and hold on for the comments. I hear it all the time, people think JD Power is sold out and there's some scum of the earth because they don't agree with your findings and you agree this other way. They're just a company that surveys people. They had 110,000 surveys that were put in and they did initial quality study. This is really important in the industry. A lot of people in the industry actually follow this quite closely. And this looks at the first like 90 days ownership to see if everything lived up to expectations of the customer. And that's huge. If you haven't bought a new vehicle lately when you're going out to spend uh, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars like I did recently. Um, you, your first 90 days are really important because you really want to make sure you feel good about your purchase because forked out all this money. And so Ram had some pretty interesting results. And uh, I would say, I would say a little controversial in my opinion. But so this is from JD Power's website and they've had, they did 11,000, no, 110,827 purchases and leases of 2021 model year vehicles. There's a 223 question battery, nine vehicle, uh, nine vehicle segments as far as checking out different things. And so I'm going to blow these up because they're too small here. I'm going to go ahead and pull them up over here. Okay, here's your results. So the initial quality study, and again, this was 110,000 uh, applicants who responded to a survey card that had uh, 280 some questions. And they ranked Ram brand number one for least amount of problems per 100 vehicles. And Dodge is number two, and Lexus is number three. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite impressive because Lexus has historically won this award year after year, and for Rand to be up that close, and you know people buying trucks like crazy, that's a pretty impressive award. And then if you look at the vehicles by segment, we'll get over here to the truck segment. Uh, you got midsize pickup being the Jeep Gladiator is number one, Ford Ranger number two, and Chevy Colorado number three. And interestingly, Consumer Reports came up with a study today that said they do not recommend the Chevy Colorado. They recommend the Honda Ridgeline instead and the Jeep Gladiator instead. 
which I find fascinating because Jeep has not been known as a reliable brand, and now the Gladiator is, is up there as well. And in large light duty, you have Ram 1500 placing right after the Toyota Tundra, and the Toyota Tundra has been the standard bearer for quality in that segment for a long time. And then Nissan Titan is number three. So it's, it's pretty interesting they rank that highly, even with Ford and uh, GM not even coming in that listing. And you look at the large heavy duty, yep, highest ranked is the Ram three quarter ton and one ton. So, so I thought it was pretty interesting. So if you're looking for the Ram truck this year, you have the changes or special editions and the new Uconnect 5 systems. So there's not a lot changed there as far as customer shopping. Initial quality is, is higher. So if you have concerns about quality, like I do with some Ram products, uh, quality is getting better. So that's really good uh, to know when you're out there shopping. So that's the information I have for you today on the 2022 Ram 1500, Ram three quarter to one ton. Check this video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.